when she was asked to turn around, go back, and disband the crowd. She blew the conch with one hand and waved Indian national flag with the other and marched forward. This is the story of Matangini Hajra. Welcome or welcome back to the stories of Victory and Valor from India, where we share the stories of Indian freedom fighters, many known and mostly unknown from various parts of this country. So stay tuned, like this video, subscribe to our channel. And the year was 1942. The British were ruling India for a long time now. This period was known as the British Raj or the Crown Rule in India. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, widely known as Mahatma Gandhi, along with the members of Indian National Congress, had initiated Quit India Movement in month of August on 8th, which was a non-violent as per the Gandhiji's ideologies. Many people from across the country following the same ideology had started non-violent and peaceful protests against the oppressors in their regions. One such procession having the crowd of approximately 6,000 people was marching towards Tamluk police station in Tamluk, a small town in West Bengal. This procession was confronted by the Crown Police. When the Crown Police asked about their leader, a woman draped in white sari came forward with conch in one hand and the Indian national flag in the other and said, I am the leader. Her name was Matangini Hajra. In a small village known as Hogla near Tamluk in West Bengal, there lived a poor peasant family. On 19th of October 1869, they had a girl child. Her parents named her Matangini Hajra. There is very little information available regarding her early life, her childhood, except for the fact that she didn't get proper education due to her family's weak financial condition. Also, she got married at the age of just 12 years old. And unfortunately, she was widowed by the age of 18 and didn't have any children. This was around the same time when various movements, including non-violence movement, breaking the SALT Act, Quit India movement, and other such were picking up the pace and Gandhiji was gaining more popularity nationwide. All this resonated with her and she started to actively participate in such movements, processions and protests. Such protests and movements had the involvement of equal number of men and women from across the country. However, in Midnapur, also known as Midnipur, West Bengal, had a huge number of female activists including Matangini Hajra. Not only that, but also females including Matangini Hajra were actively helping people from the region when the smallpox epidemic broke out, which was during 1930s. Thus, she wasn't just an independence movement activist, but also a social worker, helping people without expectation of any returns. In 1930, she participated in two of the major movements going around the country, Civil Disobedience Movement and Salt Satyagra, which was a movement to repeal the tax imposed on salt under Salt Act. Due to this, she was arrested but was released quickly. After release, she continued with her activities and joined another movement of Chokidari Tax Banda which was for abolition of Chokidari tax. This was closer to home than any other for Matangini Hajra, as Chokidari tax was imposed in Bengal Presidency, under which tax was collected from the farmers and peasants just like her parents. This participation got her arrested again, and this time she was imprisoned for six months at Bairampur jail. After being released from the prison, she became a member of Indian National Congress 
and started spinning her own khadi. Khadi is a type of cloth Gandhi insisted upon and also wore throughout his time of participation. As she got more involved in such affirmation activities, Matangini Hazra started to follow Gandhi in ideologies more religiously. This eventually led her to be called Gandhi Buri, meaning Old Lady Gandhi. As mentioned earlier, on 8th August 1942, Gandhi, along with others from Indian National Congress, initiated the Quit India Movement. As a part of it, on 29th of September 1942, Matangini Hajra led the charge of around 6,000 people to take over Tamluk Police Station. The majority crowd consisted of women from various parts of nearby villages along with their kids. Section 144 was imposed during that time of Indian Penal Code, under which gathering of four or more people at a place was restricted. In accordance to this, the British officer first of all asked for the procession's leader to come forward. Gandhi Buri announced her leadership. The officer then asked them to disband and return to their homes. But she was firm. She blew the conch like a war horn, waved Indian national flag and marched forward. As she did, the officer ordered to open fire. First bullet hit her one shoulder. But rather than flinching, she yelled one day matram, that is hail to the motherland and moved forward. Next bullet hit her another shoulder. And yet she was standing firm and strong marching forward with the flag waving high. The third and the final bullet hit her in the forehead. And with that, at the age of 72, Gandhi Buri, Matangini Hajra, collapsed and took her last breath with the flag still waving high. And with this, we come to the end of the story of Matangini Hajra. The contributions of her during her lifetime in various movements and for people around her were so many that a statue was erected in her memory in Kolkata, West Bengal in 1977. And also, 5 rupees postage stamps were issued in her commemoration in 2002. We the people of India are highly obliged and proud to have such a real-life female hero in our country who dedicated and ultimately laid down her life for the freedom and wellness of India, proving once and for all that Indian culture has always given equal importance and status to women as well as people of any gender. Thank you all for listening. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel. Also, tell us in the comment how you felt about this story. Last but not the least, we are raising funds for further development of the channel, $1 to $2 at a time, through buymeacoffee.com. Link is in the description below. So go ahead and show your support to help us grow and share these stories with as many people as possible. Our Insta account is also mentioned where we share reels frequently. So stay connected. And thank you for your support. Jai Hind.